Welcome to the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome to Coastal Processes and a little bit of Oceanography. So today's uh, video we're going to look at all about swash and backwash. So very simple concept, but it is a very in integral part of the coastal processes and how the uh, wave action and tunnel action works on the coastline and how it affects the beach, builds the beach up, starts to erode the beach uh, for different seasons and uh, yeah, basically, it is simply when the water is moving up the beach, we call that swash. And it's a perfect example right here. And as you can see, it goes back towards the incoming uh, surf, incoming breakers, and white water. That is the um, moving up the beach, it is swash. Moving back towards the ocean is backwash. Now, this is great for sediment transport. This is good for creating features on the beach, like press and berms and the kind of beach faces you get. This all depends on the profile. It all depends on the wind, the swell, the direction. It also create what's called longshore drift, longshore currents, and transport sediment in zigzags all the way down the beach, and it can actually accumulate at the end of a beach and cause a spit, or cause other kind of barriers. And if it is part of the littoral cell or near shore circulation cell, and it's, again, it can be linked up to a lot of different processes, uh, both as oceanography and as coastal processes and coastal geomorphology. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you soon.